Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with the Pandas introduction. We will be using here Pandas. It is already coming as installed package with Anaconda. That means you don't need to install Pandas. You can import Pandas by typing import Pandas as PD. So we use here shorthand notation PD for Pandas. Thereafter, we have a file here. So if you have downloaded the code file from the resources folder, in that you will see there a data folder. Inside this data folder, I have provided here many CSV files or many data files which you can use for your analysis purpose. We are going to use here restaurant customers.csv file. We will be analyzing this particular file. For that, we have here a method in Pandas which we can use to read the CSV file. You can simply write here PD equal to, I'm sorry, you can write here the data frame DF equal to PD dot read underscore CSV. So PD, that means the pandas dot read underscore CSV. Inside this, now I need to give the path of the file. So our notebook is here in root directory. Inside that we have there a data folder that means I provide here a dot that means take the current directory go inside the data folder then search for restaurant customer file so in that I type here rest and then I press a tab it automatically shows me here suggestions whatever the files available there I'm going to take here restaurant customers.csv file I just simply click that now you would be able to see that the data frame is loaded here. So this will be a very short introduction Pandas lesson. But if you want a detailed Pandas lesson, you can visit my this course. You can simply type in your browser bit.ly forward slash MLDS project. You just simply click this. Otherwise, you will be you will be taken to Python for Machine Learning, a step-by-step -step guide. And in that, we have here a detailed course on Pandas for data analysis. So this course is for almost three hours and seven minutes, where you will learn so many things about the Pandas. But in current lesson, we will be seeing some of these parts just to refresh Pandas theory and some working principle for you. You can see first few rows by typing here data frame dot head. So it will show you the first five rows. And similarly, if you type here df dot tail, it will be showing you the last five rows. If you want to see here some random rows, you can simply type there df dot sample. And then you provide there the number of items or number of rows, which you want to see here. I want to see here three rows. I just need to run it. You would be able to see all these three rows are there. You just keep running it. Now you will be seeing that all these rows are changing one by one there. All right. Thereafter, let's see what are other process you can do with the data frame. You can get the details of the data frame by typing here df.info. With this, you will be getting here details of each of these columns with df.info. It says that the first one is integer data type and all other things are having here as the object data type. There are total 1000 entries and the index starts from 0 to 999 and there are 1000 non-null values. That means there is no null value because there are total 1000 entries and out of those 1000 entries are non-null value. That means there is no null value. Other than that, you can check df.describe, but df.describe works better if you have a numerical data. All right. We have only, we have only here, you know, the object data and the ID is only numerical data. So performing describe on ID doesn't make any sense. But if you have here many columns which have as numerical data, like integer or float, you can use df.describe to get these quartiles like 25%, 50, 75 or the maximum and mean count all these things you can get. Let's see 
if we have any other method to check the null values so df dot is null dot sum this method says that how many null values you have here column wise so I don't have any null values column wise all these are zero there that's the data frame all right let's go ahead and see what are other process you can perform with the data frame let's say if you want to filter out any of these rows then how do you do that I'm gonna filter out all the male gender how would you do that you can simply do here df dot gender equal to equal to I say here male so wherever the gender is male it is going to say here true and false true false so the false is gender is female otherwise it is true where gender is male so this is index so if we get all the values from these index we will be getting there the male data I write here male is equal to the df and then I write here the index now if you check here the male data you will be seeing you will be seeing here all the genders will be having here the male data something like this but if you provide here negative you will be getting all the female that means this index says that the male but I'm gonna provide here the not operator that means do not get the male gender that means get all the gender other than the male gender so in current data set we have male and the female only that means we will be getting here only female gender data set let's go ahead and get the male gender data set once again and similarly like I, I had just shown you the previously you can get the female gender data as well you can also get the counts for example you can simply do here gender and then dot value underscore counts so with this you will be getting here the counts of each of these values it says that there are 500 male and 500 females in your data set there is so much there, there is so much to learn with the pandas data frame and those are out of scope from this course but still if you want to learn pandas in very depth and detailed knowledge if you want you can simply visit to my course there with by typing bit.ly forward slash ml hyphen ds hyphen project you can watch this three hours pandas for data analysis series you will be seeing all of these detailed analysis about the pandas all right so in this course we will be covering only this much in the pandas all right this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching this i'll see you in next one